Hi, I'm Arlen Geyer. One of the really great features of a single lens reflex camera is lens interchangeability. The fact that you can take one lens off and put another one on. You can have a really long lens for one situation and a really short one for another. And when they come out with a new lens, you can buy that new lens and put that on your camera body. Now, taking a lens off means that you're exposing the inside of the camera to dust. Under normal conditions, with a film camera, that's no big deal. If some dust gets inside the camera, it might even settle on um, it might even settle on the film. But you take a picture, you wind the film, you're now on a new piece of film. So that piece of dust is no longer relevant. However, with a digital camera, the dust gets inside the camera and it may settle on the sensor. You take a picture, you're ready for another picture, it's the same sensor. It's that same piece of dust. So, dust is a problem with digital cameras. You can see how much dust you have on your sensor if you were to point your camera at, the, at a nice clear blue sky, focus on infinity, and stop the lens way down, say f11 or f16 or so, and take a picture. I've got a sample here. Let's just zoom in on this thing. And this is dust on the sensor of this camera. There's some nice big pieces. So you can see dust all over the place on here. Now, more recent cameras have a system in them that when you turn on or off the camera, it gives the sensor a little shake and hopefully that knocks the dust off of it. And those actually work pretty well. This uh, sample that you're looking at here is from a camera that was before that technology had come about. And my more recent cameras have not had anywhere near the dust problem that this one did. So, on the other hand, you still can get dust on your sensor. It is possible to clean the sensor off, but it's not something I would recommend that anybody just go out and do unless you're willing to take the chance that you might just ruin your camera because it's easy to scratch the sensor. So if you want to do it yourself, go out and do some research on the internet and get the right tools and um, realize that you are risking your camera. Otherwise, you could take it to a camera repair place where they have experience in these matters and let them do it for you. And of course, that'll cost you some money. But in the meantime, you're stuck with a sensor with some dust on it. So here is an example of a photograph taken with a camera with dust on the sensor. So we zoom in here. This is not a blemish on her face. I'm going to close that so that I have a little bigger picture. In fact, I'll close this one too. There we go. And uh, so there is dust all over this. There's one right there. There's one here. There's one here. Uh, there's several down here. Uh, there's a little down in this area. So Lightroom, we're in Adobe Lightroom here. Lightroom has a great feature. I'm going to zoom in so you can see this nice and clearly. As we go into the develop module, which is D. And we just wait for that to happen. There we go. And in the develop module, we've got uh, several um, adjustments in here. One of them is spot removal. How nice. And spot removal can do cloning or healing. Cloning is an exact match of pixels. Healing kind of blends one area with another. And so in this case, healing is just what we want. And uh, you can change the size of your brush with the bracket keys. Uh, the right bracket makes it get bigger. The left bracket makes it get smaller. You might also notice that uh, as I was doing that, it changed it up here. So you can, you can adjust from here as well. I like to do it with the keys because I can see where uh, actually what the size is. Now, if I just click here, it's going to find an area that it thinks is a good match for that, and I think it did pretty well. If I'm not happy with that, I can actually grab this and move it around to someplace else until I am happy with the match. This actually is uh, a um, beauty mark on her. I'm going to leave that alone. And now let's, let's um, move down to here, and I'm going to just click. And here's another one right here. And I'm going to actually move that spot over. And now 
on this one I'm going to zoom in right now I'm at a one to one zoom I'm going to move into a two to one zoom if you don't see that on your version of Lightroom right now you can click on this change zoom level and uh, you have a number of options in there two to one is nice for getting in nice and close here and what I'm going to do here is I'm clicking and dragging and I'm going to drag until I get the this line of her, on her top to roughly match where it was and there we go. For me to move around inside of here, I can hold the space bar down and click and drag around. Or because I have the navigator window open, I can just click here. As I recall, there was something over here. Oh, good shot. Um, so if I just click, I'm not entirely happy with that spot. I like it over there better. And I know there were some down around here. Just click there and space bar down and move over a little bit. And I'm going to click and drag this time. To right there and on this one I want to make it so that notice that um, I want to line up the bottom of her arm with the bottom of her arm so I'll go to right there and this area looks good I'm gonna just uh, hold the space bar down and click to zoom out and space bar down and click to zoom in down here space bar and make this smaller and I'll just gonna click on that one and see how it does. Don't like that. I'm gonna move it over. And anything else? Oh, I don't know whether that's one or not, but we'll take care of it. And this one, don't like the way it did that, so I'm gonna grab this and move it over so that I can line up the line of that seam or whatever it is on her shorts. And I think I've pretty much got them now, so I'm gonna click off of the spot removal tool all those little circles go away and you can see the spots are gone and if I want to go back and redo one if I click on the spot removal tool again those come back again if I move my cursor over here I can see this one and I can move that or I can move the destination spot again so even after having done this, you can you can come back and redo it later if you choose. So click on it again, zoom back out, and there. So that's uh, dust on your sensor and the spot removal tool in Lightroom. I hope that was helpful. Thanks.